Hi, my name is Daryl Weber. I'm the head coach at Christiansburg High School where we won the state championship for 12 years in a row. Uh, in the past seven years we've had roughly 40 state champions. Uh, I grew up uh, in Iowa. I wrestled at the University of Iowa for Dan Gable where I was a national champion, three-time All-American. And I want to take a second to talk to you about the importance of wrestling freestyle and Greco-Roman in the off-season, especially There's in the spring. There's a ton of local, state, and regional events that you can hit up during the spring. Uh, a good place to go in Virginia, if, you're, if you live in Virginia, is to go to virginiawrestling.com. They have a schedule with tournaments all over the state. We have a state tournament uh, in the Richmond area. There's regional tournaments uh, all over the East Coast. Um, and you, you really need, if you're a wrestler or you're a coach, uh, and you have aspirations of your wrestlers getting on that state podium, high on that state podium, being state champions, you really need to get on the circuit in the spring and wrestle your freestyle in Greco-Roman. Um, I've been wrestling since I was 10 years old, uh, 20 plus years. I grew up in Iowa, that's how we did it in Iowa, that's how what all the best wrestlers did there. When I moved to Virginia 13 years ago, um, it was the same here. The best wrestlers, the guys you see in the state finals, are the ones on the circuit in the spring. Um, so you really need to get to get the job done in the off season. You really need to get on that freestyle. There's a lot of benefits to wrestling freestyle and Greco-Roman in the off season. Um, the first one that comes to mind is this: that's where all the best wrestlers are. By hitting up these tournaments, you're going to be competing against the best wrestlers in the state, best wrestlers from other states. End up at these tournaments. Um, so in order to find the best competition, uh, and that is a key ingredient to to constantly getting better and going to the next level. Uh, you need to be on that freestyle and Greco circuit. Um, and then wrestling wise, all the, all the things that you need to fine tune and really focus on to become a good Greco wrestler, a good freestyle wrestler, are things that are going to carry over to uh, your folk style wrestling. Put together a video with all the basic techniques that you need to learn to be effective uh, at your local tournaments, at your state freestyle and Greco tournaments, or regional and even national level tournaments. I've had guys that have wrestled for me that have won national titles, uh, that really only had one, maybe two things in the top position that they scored from, but they got really good at them. Uh, they focused on their finishes and their defense, uh, things that they've learned in folk style, uh, and that's all they really needed to be a national champion and uh, to get to, to find the best competition, to compete against the best competition all summer, and really to get a lot of recognition uh, from colleges and uh, to gain the experience that need, they needed to uh, win. Now, if you hear somebody saying that freestyle and Greco-Roman is not going to help your folk style, your high school wrestling, uh, because all it is is throws, they're flat out wrong. Um, now, is it a little different? Yes, it is a little bit different. Um, but most, like I mentioned before, most of the techniques that you use in folk style uh, you need to just fine tune those. You need to be, become better at those, uh, and you just need to pick up a couple things to uh, to, to be successful in, in freestyle and Greco-Roman. It's not all throws. You're 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 using front headlocks, leg attacks, uh, drags, uh, all the stuff that you do, hand fighting skills, all those things that you do that you focus on as a coach and as a wrestler in folk style. That's what you're going to use to win these matches in freestyle and Greco. Uh, and it is a little bit different. It's a faster paced match. It's a little bit different. Uh, you don't have to be quite as uh, in good a shape as you do in folk style. So it's, it's, it's a different pace. Uh, it's usually fun for the kids to learn. Um, but it is different. Uh, and if you go in with a wishy-washy attitude, uh, just looking for a reason not to do it, you'll find the reason. Um, if you go in determined to hit that circuit and get on the path that most state champions have taken, uh, then then you're going to pick up quick. You're going to pick pick the styles up quick, and you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. You're going to get a lot of experience, and uh, you're going to see the benefits next folk style. Now, I'm not saying that everybody needs to wrestle all spring and go to all the national events during the summer. Um, we've had a lot of guys have a lot of success by doing going on that path, but bare minimum, I think you need to hit up everything in the spring. Uh, your, your state, your local, your regional tournaments, uh, and then depending on what your high school coach may have uh, some camps planned or they might have a plan for you that, that summer to hit up some folk style camps or folk style competitions. Um, we've had a lot of guys do that, uh, but there are a lot of great opportunities at the national scene uh, that you can do through USA Wrestling uh, between their national events, their dual national events, uh, and if you're at that level, and you're liking the freestyle and Greco-Roman, uh, that's a great opportunity, that's a great path to go to really uh, propel you into the national scene and you can get a lot of recognition if you do well at those uh, from college coaches. If you're new to well. freestyle and Greco-Roman, 
Uh, hopefully there's a club in your area that you can go to where they're training, you got training partners and they're, they're working on the freestyle and Greco-Roman skills and you can go to tournaments with them. Uh, if not, uh, then I, I put together a video series with basics. If you're a coach, you've never done it, you don't know, really know how to teach your, your wrestlers, check out these videos. Uh, and if you're a wrestler, find a partner, start working on these things, start hitting up tournaments and I'm telling you, you'll pick it up quick. Uh, if you just jump in and get going, you'll pick it up quick. It's not a whole lot different, and I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun as well. In closing, uh, I hope you go find a club that you can join in your area and start working freestyle and Greco-Roman. Watch the vi free videos I've put out. Um, you know, just get to work. There's only a couple techniques that you really need to pick up on in order to be effective in these art, at these styles and uh, they have rules clinics at every tournament beforehand the referees bring all the kids in go over the rules um, there's plenty of resources on the internet over the rules you can check out my article where I break down uh, the basic skills that you really need to focus on you need to pick up uh, there's also resources on the rules uh, in that article so uh, I hope you uh, decide to try out freestyle Greco-Roman it's it's uh, especially in the spring season it's proven beneficial for many, many of my wrestlers. Uh, every state champion that we've had has gone on that path. I hope to see you on the circuit this spring and summer.